morning, everybody. More to Life Outdoors here. Uh, starting another adventure this morning. Uh, we're uh, gonna head up Five Mile Trail. Uh, gonna go up uh, near the junction to go to the Custer Lookout, the old fire lookout, and then camp for the night. But uh, thought we'd bring you on. Something I did want to mention about this trail is this is a shared trail. So you have hikers, backpackers, just have motorcycles. So I want to mention that um, we actually appreciate what the guys do. Because if it wasn't for a lot of these motorcycle groups, the trails wouldn't get cleared and we'd have to deal with a lot more deadfall. Um, our previous hike um, was an unmaintained trail, uh, hiker, backpacker only. We had to deal with a lot of deadfall. This trail usually is pretty good unless you've had something fall overnight. It gets enough travel to uh, stay clear. Uh, but again, if it wasn't for the motorcyclists, um, again, because the Forest Service just doesn't have a lot of funding for trail maintenance. I know they do their best. We knew the guy who was in charge of it in the area here for a number of years. He retired recently. And I know what talking to him, he uh, did the best he could with what he had. But we'd like to thank the motorcyclists for what they actually do on the trail. Anything to add, hon? Oh, looking forward to another long hike. bottom of the canyon there, it's Five Mile Creek. up to where the trail crosses five mile creek. You made it, hon. All this hiking and backpacking with 40 pounds on my back. My butt better look amazing by the end of the summer. <laughs> OK, 
come to this beautiful big meadow up here and also don't know if you'll be able to see it I'm trying to take a picture with one of the phones but that peak on top of that peak right there is the Custer Fire Lookout and that's what we're hoping to uh, reach tomorrow came off the trail. It's a nice little creek running right here. This is the meadow we were trying to get to. This is probably where we're going to camp tonight. Um, just going to have to find us a good spot, set up our tent. to head on on today's excursion bear bag is hung tents bundled up we actually found this campsite last year when we were up here um, we thought it would be a good spot for today's journey we're about 50 yards off the main trail but though where it sits you basically unless you were really looking for it you wouldn't be able to see it so we're leaving the uh, majority of our gear here. Just taking uh, some basic stuff with us for today. Gonna hike up to the Custer Fire Lookout. So we're back at the trail. This is where we came off yesterday afternoon. Our campsite is actually up there. Um, not far off the trail. But unless you're looking for it, you're not going to see it. So we feel it's pretty secure. Good source of water for us here. And this is the direction we're heading. at the junction this is the way we just came up from five mile trail uh, side of this junction this trail right here is the trail that goes up to Custer Lookout the sign there says uh, a mile uh, trust me the mileages on Forest Service signs are uh, a general description then this trail here uh, you might remember from one of our other videos uh, that's the Ramey Creek Trail well we did a video there we came up not this far probably about I don't know a mile or so from here uh, where we were doing a bunch of rock hounding um, but so that's Ramey Creek so last year we actually made a big loop of this Came up five mile, went out Ramey Creek. Uh, again, Forest Service mileage said it should have been about uh, about 12 miles. Uh, we had two different GPSs. 
that said it was 15 plus. So getting ready to head up the Custer Lookout Trail. Uh, hopefully the weather holds out. Uh, it's been a little cloudy this morning, um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll hold out. The sun does peek through on occasion, but uh, keep your fingers crossed. So this is uh, just a little example of the trail we've been working our way up since we left the junction. Again, the views are pretty spectacular. A little windy up here today. I'm sure you can hear it. Again, don't know if you can see it or not, but up there is the lookout. From here it almost looks like we could reach out and touch it. But still got a little ways to go. As you can see the trail here still uh, winding its way up the side of the mountain here. We'll check in with you soon. So that's the trail we just came up. Again, you can see kind of a narrow trail. And I wanted to kind of show you a panoramic from up here. It's actually a mountain there off in the distance. That from here, it looks like a pyramid. But down there, you can see that big uh, green meadow. That's the meadow we passed on the way up yesterday. We caught a little video and some pictures of that. Um, just to give you an idea of how much we've come up. And then we still have to work our way up this narrow path still. So, continuing up the trail. And give you an idea how steep this is. So we've made it to the saddle below the lookout. There's the low lookout up there on the peak. That's the trail. We gotta kind of follow that and go around the other side and then come up to the lookout from that side from what we understand. Uh, where we're at now is the saddle below the lookout. According to Michelle's uncle, he worked up here for two fire seasons at this lookout. What they would do is they would fly him, his supplies, and his dog in and land him up here on this saddle. Once the helicopter was unloaded, it would leave, and then it was up to him and his dog to get all his stuff moved over to the lookout. But he had nothing but time. And I just wanted to do a quick panoramic from the saddle here. We're actually gonna take a little break here So we have made it to the Custer Lookout. Our campsite is somewhere way down there. Pretty precarious getting up here, but Again, this has been on my wife's bucket list for a long time. Her uncle, like previously mentioned, worked up here. I believe it was his first two summers after he graduated high school. Sorry, I've got to cinch up my hat back up. It's a little windy up here. The 
views are pretty incredible. There's a marker just before we actually made it up to here that shows the uh, dedicated in 1957 it looks like. view though sure I show Uncle Tom pictures of this see if it brings back any memories for him hey everyone more to life outdoors here well we did it we are at the Custer lookout Woo! we did it we made it yay it's a uh, it's an ass kicker but uh, a little sketchy. Little sketchy. At the top, it gets a little sketchy. But we did it. Uh, definitely, the right idea was to come up and set up camp. Uh, camp is uh, really not that far, it's about a little over two and a half miles, uh, according to Onyx Backcountry, to get here. But uh, I'll have to get you the change in elevation uh, from that spot. But uh, we made it. And we can't be happier. Amazing, amazing views from up here. I mean, it's it's a little smoky and there, it did rain on us a little bit coming up here. So it's a little overcast and, you know, there's some new fires in the area. So it's a little smoky, but I mean, the, the views are still stunning. I mean, just absolutely stunning. So, excuse me. Can't beat that. Sorry, I just swept out the lookout and the dust uh, apparently tickled my nose. Anyways, we're gonna have a little snack, make it back down the trail and get back to camp. All right, we're getting ready to leave the lookout. I wanted to give you a quick glimpse of the trail because I don't think we really... I'll get it. over that way then zigzags back down and then around that point again you can kind of see the trail that it junctions into over there but then we wrap all the way back around the front side here to head back over to the saddle that uh, lighter area over there that's the saddle that we stopped at on when we first came up we're gonna head out of here, so I'm gonna kind of put this away. Got some uh, tough uh, climbing ahead of us here. So 
we made it to the junction trying to race back to the campsite it's uh, been raining pretty much since we left that saddle up there so we kind of hot footed it to the junction got to the junction now we got a, about a mile a little less than a mile to get to our campsite hopefully get out of the rain but right now we're getting wet ah so we made it back to camp it is still pouring rain at least uh this is a dry abode for the most point uh still a couple drowned rats gonna need to uh put some warmer clothes on and then we're just gonna i guess hang out i'll check in with you soon so it's about uh quarter to ten uh tuesday morning we're all packed up here at the campsite uh getting ready to head back out to the trailhead uh should mention today is our 25th anniversary uh so this is what we did the last six days we backpacked and uh, it was awesome but uh, we're gonna head back down to civilization get some uh, hot showers last night it rained uh, well yesterday afternoon into yesterday evening so everything's wet this morning and of course it's a cool morning so we're gonna get uh, moving here so we can get some blood flowing She works so hard at keeping her feet dry. And that's how you do it. <laughs> So the wife has ventured off trail again. Her cascading water. So I had to come over and see if she'd get a picture. <laughs> 